So today is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to teach you anything camera or editing related, but instead I want to give you some insight on why I have a YouTube channel and why you should consider having one as well. And it all starts with this. Honestly, I'm just all about that YouTube money. So like this video, say something nice about me in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm kidding half kidding. But seriously, here's how it all started. While the majority of camera professionals share their portfolio as their marketing, I go in a slightly different direction, one that's more fun and fulfilling for me. Instead of putting my portfolio on display, I share videos on how I make videos. I lost interest in sharing my portfolio because it was never anything new. For me, because the bulk of my work is real estate videos, every time I shared a project, it was like, ah, oh, here's Kev with another house video. And it got pretty boring real quick. Now, I have done different types of projects projects like weddings, documentaries, small business promos, and fitness videos, but the end result was always the same. Anyone who saw my work only saw the finished product and they learned nothing about me, they learn nothing about the process. I wanted to market myself in a way that very, very few people in my profession, in my area were doing. Almost no one shows themselves in front of the camera and no one gives away their business secrets for free. Well, these YouTube videos are the exact opposite of that. This form of content creation has benefits for both business and creative purposes. For business, I'll always have the option to share my portfolio, but what I really find interesting about YouTube videos is people get to see my personality. Not only will they learn how I do what I do, but by seeing me in front of the camera, they have the opportunity to either love me or hate me. In order to enjoy doing what I do, I prefer to do business with people whose creative values match my own. If prospects only saw my portfolio and then formed the opinion that I was good enough for their project, that's a very superficial way to make that decision. Inevitably, when there's a discussion about pricing, there's a likely chance of disagreement because the prospect, through no fault of their own, is just unaware of what goes into a project. If they saw behind the scenes, if they saw the methods, the skills, and equipment used to accomplish certain things, then now they have an idea of why a project might cost a certain amount and they'll be more likely to respect your pricing. Another reason why I think these YouTube videos are effective is they display a level of expertise. Now, I may not know more than the next guy in this industry. In fact, I probably don't. However, when compared to anyone else not doing these types of videos, I'm the one perceived to have more expertise. This is simply because I tell you what I do and exactly how I do it, while everyone else is just showing off their work. Admittedly, everyone smarter than me is going to think that I'm an idiot, but no one's gonna believe them unless they make a YouTube video about it. Now, as an artist, making YouTube videos satisfies my creativity in a way that paid gigs don't. In my opinion, YouTube videos takes up more time and effort than most jobs I go on. But I will still do them even though there's no monetary benefit. Writing my own scripts, shooting what I want, editing how I want gives me the creative freedom that I just don't get with client work. It's no surprise that client projects are very specific by nature. They want videos that represent them, their brand, their purpose, so of course they're going to give me guidelines to follow to help accomplish that. So my hands are pretty tied when it comes to taking on client work. But with YouTube videos, oh man. Anything goes. this video inspires you to start making your own YouTube videos because it's really just a fun process. Also, getting monetized would be kind of dope. But in all seriousness, I find it to be a therapeutic creative outlet to make the videos you want to make without the constraints from a client. If you found this video informative or at the very least entertaining, don't be shy to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.